Hello everybody, it's Audrey for Le Mixer and tonight I'm very lucky because I'm with the beautiful Juicy M. Oh, <laughs> thank how are you, you Good, perfect. <laughs> thank you. So let's talk about uh, you. Uh, you got your, you got the bus uh, publishing videos of you uh, DJing on four CDGs. Um, how do you feel uh, the way you've covered since the beginning? I feel that it's just, you know, the way I'm mixing it and it's so cool that people like it and, you know, I'm just uh, able to record more and I'm gonna record like every month, like okay. the mashup edition for my fans because everybody is asking where is the next episode, where is mm -hmm. the next episode, so it's kind of cool, people love it. Okay. And I like making it, so it's kind of fun. Okay. Let's talk about production. Uh, your last track uh, was released in May, I think. It's called uh, yeah, Girl yeah, Gang. May. Girl Gang, yeah. Can you tell us the story behind it? Yeah, the story was like the inspiration. We went to the club with, the, with my girlfriend and just had fun. And there was a lot of rude boys, you know, walking around. And they kind of can, can't relax. So we feel like, hey boy, hold on. We're here for the party. And then next day we go to the studio and we say, hey, let's, let's record track kind of like this vibes like about independent girls with a bunch of money who just want to have fun in the club and then we came out with the beat like -na 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 -na. we just had so much fun in the studio recording it so I just like kind of vibes okay <laughs> and is there an album coming uh, right now working like single by single single okay. by single because for me it's kind of easier to mm -hmm. work on one particular track, finish it, and then work for to the another because album is maybe in the future. Okay, I or maybe really an EP so. or yeah, AP is definitely mm -hmm. like, this is the thing which is yeah. Like for the winter time, we usually sit down on the studio and working hard on the music side. Mm -hmm. Like summertime, you know, like usually party every night, yeah. and you don't have much time to sit mm. in the studio and finish the things you have. So we prepared uh, all new stuff usually on the winter time. Okay, and you've created uh, your own label. Yeah, can I did. Can yeah, you I talk did. about it? Uh, yeah, it's Jump Records. It's mm -hmm. for a new artist. It's developing, um, but uh, we're gonna reopen it in um, October again. Okay. And we're gonna again uh, release the new artist, which is I'm very excited about because this is the thing I really love. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of new things is coming for sure. Good. So today you're playing at Balaton Festival. Uh, what does it mean to you playing here? Every festival is just something, it's like a new chapter. Mm -hmm. So the Balaton sound is so legendary and it's just such a honor to be a part of it. Okay. You know, it's really, and every time you feel like you're playing, it was a amazing names next to you and you feel like oh my god this is this is amazing this is just like you're doing the right thing so for me i'm very excited of course okay what have you prepared oh pff, a lot of mashups i just finished yeah. in my hotel room okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna release my new track in a few weeks spotlight and i just finished new mashup for my <laughs> for my track which was super fun so i'm very excited to play this one okay <laughs> cool and what is your best memory so far Memories from from festival or from or from your career and other festival gigs. Oh, so. from from festivals. Uh, I was pretty very surprising festival in Romania. I did a week ago or mm -hmm. so. Uh, I was very surprised because I didn't expect such a huge organization, and it was just like forty thousand people or something, and they all the whole crowd were like just one big organism. They were such a good educated. And that was the first time for me playing in Romania, so that was like the big surprise to me and highlight as well, because I, I couldn't go from the stage. I was screaming and screaming like one more track and then again one more <laughs> track. I couldn't leave the stage. That was really amazing. Mm, cool. <laughs> and do you think uh, being a woman is uh, in this masculine business can be a, a strain? I mean, the traveling part is harder for the woman, for sure. Okay. Because. Uh, for example, I travel with my manager for 10 years mm -hmm. and he's feeling okay after 24 hour flight. And for me, I'm kind of, I'm kind I need some time to recover for myself. Mm -hmm. So I feel like females is struggle a little bit more. 
okay. from traveling part. Yeah. But it's only traveling part because everything else is just music. We're making music. It's all yeah. the same things. Mm, mm. But the traveling part sometimes could be really tough. Yeah. Like the holding bags and every time you pack and pack, pack and pack and your mm. skin is getting dry <laughs> and your hair and stuff. So like from only from the traveling part, I think. Okay, well, okay, good. So let's send, end up this interview with uh, um, funny questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, your song of the moment. Song of the moment. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, spotlight, GCM. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> it is cool, really. <laughs> Hope you're going to enjoy it as well as I do. Um, what would have been your job if it wasn't DJing? Don't say journalist. <laughs> no, no. I, I, I was thinking about that, but I remember since five years old or something, I was dancing and in Ukraine, I was able to go into the party since I was eight years old. I know it's crazy, <laughs> but we made it. And the DJ was the coolest guy ever. And I thought, like, I should be a friend of the DJ or I should become a DJ. So <laughs> I think there is no plan B for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's only play. If I, fa if I fail in DJ, I don't know, I'm just going to meditate and, <laughs> and do nothing at all. <laughs> okay. Um, the, your best artist, the one you prefer? Oh, that's a long list. Mm. Huge. The female, male, duo, oh my god, I don't know. I don't know, why not yes. you? I, I love DJ Snake, because we kind of start together from the hip hop, and I love the way his career is going so high. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to follow, and just I admire all his works, the music side, performance, and everything in between. Okay. Really like it. Okay. Talking about French, uh, can you say a word in French for French fans? Je vous aime. Oh, <laughs> je m'appelle so Marta. So cute. <laughs> Thank you for this interview, Marta. It was great. I guess in Budapest I have some. <laughs> okay, so that's all for me. Thank, Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.